ST is about three weeks away and everyone's wondering how to max find the score to get a 1600 on the ST March section or how to at least improve the score by 200 points. So in this video, I'm going to teach you all how to study for the March SAT the most effective way possible because I know while there are a lot of you who probably have already started studying, I bet there's more of you who haven't even opened your SAT book or even watched any of my videos. This probably might be your first video. In that case, welcome. But no matter how much you have studied so far, Let's talk about how you can study from here on out to make sure that you can get the best score you possibly can so that you can get into whatever college you want to. So the first tip I want to give you all is to prioritize the math section for these next three weeks. Now, a lot of you guys might be wondering, whoa, 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 does that mean only study math? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is I want you to do more math studying than reading study when it comes to SAT. Or let's say you watch this video maybe one week from the SAT, do math. And the reason I say do math first or do math more is because the math section has been proven for it to be the easier section for a lot of students taking the SAT. The SAT math section has had higher score improvement among students than the SAT reading section and that is proven by straight facts and history. You might wonder why. Well, if you think about it, SAT reading, they always have those questions that are like, choose the best answer because two questions might be good, but one is better than the other. In math, you're either right or wrong and that's why a lot of students find the math section easier. Now, if you're like someone who reads books every single day of their every second of their life, the SAT reading section might be a little easier, but for most people, the math section is just much easier. And that's why I even designed an SAT math course. Check the link in the description if you want to buy it and use code FIRST100 for a 25% discount. While I am saying to prioritize the math section, I also want you all to use tip number two, and that is to have a two-day split between SAT reading and SAT math studying. Now, what do I mean by a two-day split? What I mean by this is I want you to start studying SAT math for two days in a row, and then after those two days, I want you to do SAT reading for two days in a row. And I want you to keep alternating up until your March SAT. Now, I know I said prioritize math, so these two days, maybe you're spending four hours on SAT math, and the next two days you're spending three hours on ST reading. That is perfectly fine. The reason I want you to have this split is because it keeps the brain fresh and it keeps the brain moving from ST math to ST reading. That way, if you just focus on ST math, then your brain doesn't forget all the skills for ST reading and vice versa, right? You wanna keep alternating at a good enough pace so that you're not alternating every single second, but you're alternating a good amount of times so that you can still maximize your score on both sections. And that leads me to the second point, right? You want to maximize your score on both sections so you need to study both sections almost equally. If not, maybe math a little more, but you still want to have a good reading score. Like, wouldn't it be so nice if you only have to take the SD once and get the score you want? And this brings me to my next tip, and that is to decide right now whether you want to do the maximize route or the split route. And now you guys are probably like, what, what are you saying? What vocabulary is this? This is rotational vocabulary. What I mean is there's three weeks left for the SAT, or maybe one week, depending on when you're watching this video. So the question is, do you only want to focus on one SAT section, whether it be math or reading, and it's been study that so when the SAT comes, you can get a very high score on that section, and the next time you take the SAT, get a really high score on the other section, so that way you can super score for a, a bigger SAT score closer to a 1600, right? Or do you want to do the split route, which is basically where you, what I said earlier, where you study math and reading, so that way you can maximize your score on both sections. A lot of students have a certain preference. The students who want to do the split score, like you have a good math score and good reading score, that's personally what I would recommend if it's your first SAT. They go down the split route because they don't want to take the SAT multiple times. While people who go down, maximize one section, they're forced to take the SAT at least twice. Because if you do go on the math section the first time, then that means you're focusing on the reading section the other time or vice versa. But the thing with the maximized route is the fact that if you aim for the math section, you just spin study the math section, you buy my SAT course, and you don't get the score you want, which with my course would be impossible. But let's say you don't get my course and you don't get this math score you want. Then you're left in a little pickle because the next SAT you're supposed to be your ST reading, right? SAT, right? The one you, you really want to focus on ST reading for. But now, because you did bad in the math SAT, now you have to do good on both sections on your next SAT. So you're kind of in a jeopardized situation and you probably will have to take SAT three times, maybe four times, which is why if you're taking it for SAT the, for the first time, please just go down the split route and maximize both reading and math, right? Because you don't want to take the SAT three or four times because usually after the second time your brain is cooked and most of the time your score actually decreases. And my last tip to make sure you get the best SAT score you possibly can is to take practice tests every single week. Now this might be a lot and by the way I just said every single week if you thought that was a lot well I meant to say every single three days right every single three days I want you to take another SAT test or maybe even every single four days that way you study ST math for two days in a row study ST reading for two days in a row then you take a practice test. Now the question is why do you want to take a practice test so much? Well, 
There's multiple reasons. The first reason is the SAT is a hard exam, right? And one of the biggest parts about the SAT for a lot of students isn't the actual content, it's the anxiety and like the nerves and the entire, you know, testing environment that messes a lot of students up. So by practicing and simulating the testing environment, right? Like timing yourself, being under crunch time and pretending you're actually in your test center about to take the SAT, the, the, all the nerves and anxiety that comes with being able to handle that is a very effective skill that can really only be learned by simulating the test environment, which is why taking practice SAT exams for like three hours is a pretty good tactic to make sure when the real SAT comes, you're ready when it comes to mentally and emotionally and physically. Another reason you want to take practice tests weekly is because you want to make sure you expose yourself to real SAT problems. You see, Khan Academy was one of the greatest resources for SAT studying ever. In fact, in so many of my videos, I've always said use Khan Academy, but now because College Board and Khan Academy had a little like riffle, right? SAT math isn't that good on Khan Academy, right? They don't teach it well enough. They only teach SAT reading well. So ST math can sometimes be a weak point for a lot of students, which is why, you know, resources such as my ST math notes, such as my course are out there to help students for the ST math section. But the ST reading section, you can use Khan Academy, you can binge it, but at the same time, you're not seeing real SAT problems. You're seeing problems that might represent SAT problems, but you're not seeing real SAT problems that have been given to students and students that have actually, you know, done. The only way to see these types of problems is by taking real practice SATs, taking real SATs that have been administered to students, maybe like the 2021 SATs, the 2020 SATs, the ones released by College Board. There's so many SATs that you can take that have been administered to real students so that you can get the best accurate representation of where you are when it comes to SAT, right? How good are you in the math section? How good are you in the reading section? And last but not least, it keeps you sharp, right? Taking practice tests very frequently keeps you sharp. It keeps your brain ready for the SAT and it's basically like training your muscle, right? If you do bicep day almost every other day, then you're going to have pretty big biceps. So if you train your SAT brain every single other day, then you're going to have a really good SAT brain muscle. With that being said, hopefully you guys use this study routine to make sure you get the best SAT score on the March SAT. And if you are worried about ST math section, be sure to get my course and my notes. If you do get my course, notes come free. And if, if you're worried about ST reading, then just watch my other ST reading videos as well as use Khan Academy. So thank you all for watching. Peace.